Powering a Guatemalan Hospital with Energy from the Sun. This is an alternative energy project at a hospital that sits at the base of three volcanoes on the southern shores of beautiful Lake Atitlan in the highlands of Guatemala. The hospital is located in Santiago Atitlan, which has a population of 45,000 Zutuil speaking Maya people. Many believe this is the largest purely indigenous village in the Americas. The Spanish built one of the first churches in Latin America here and gave Santiago Atitlan its name nearly 500 years ago. The Zutuil grow corn for tortillas as they have for centuries. Beans, squash, fish, and greens make up their daily diet. Coffee production, fishing, and tourism are important parts of the economy. Many make less than $200 a month, and UNICEF reports that Guatemala has the third highest rate of chronic malnutrition in the world. In 1969, after a measles epidemic killed 600 children, the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City built a small hospital. But in 1992, the hospital became victim to Guatemala's 35-year civil war, and it was closed. For 12 years, the community had no emergency medical care, and women with complicated deliveries had to travel two hours to the national hospital. Many died on the way or refused to leave the village, dying at home. In 2003, a grassroots organization formed to renovate the abandoned hospital. Asociación Caslimal, which means life in the Zutuil language, received a 50-year lease from Mayor Diego Esquina and organized volunteers to clean and paint. After nearly two years of renovation, the hospital opened. Santiago Atitlan once again had emergency medical care. To save lives, hospitals must have a reliable source of electricity. A donor purchased inverters and batteries as a solution to the daily power outages, but that wasn't enough. Local electrical contractor Henry Mendoza traveled to Costa Rica to study a course, Renewable Energy in the Developing World. He hoped to find a solution to the unreliable service from the power grid. After the course, he was invited by Solar Energy International instructor Ian Wuffenden to continue his studies in Washington State. Henry met many leaders in the solar industry while he was in the United States. Tragically, on October 5, 2005, the rains from Tropical Storm Stan caused mudslides that killed 200 neighbors, left thousands homeless, and buried the hospital in mud. The inverters and batteries continued to function for a week before they were unearthed from the mud and relocated to a rental property that would become the hospital for the next five years. During the disaster, we learned firsthand of the need to be independent from the power grid and generators. A donor purchased eight solar panels and they were installed on the roof of the temporary hospital. Ian Wuffenden arrived and he and Henry hosted the first solar energy conference in Guatemala in 2007 as a fundraiser for the Hospitalito. Thanks to donors, land was purchased in safe location for a new hospital. A groundbreaking was held on the first anniversary of the mudslide. Hospital architect David Chile donated a design for a green hospital using natural lighting and with roof angles for the installation of solar panels. Electrical engineer Walt Ratterman of Sun Energy, who tragically lost his life in the Haiti earthquake, revised and approved Henry's electrical drawings for the hospital, and he and Ian Wuffenden had agreed to help with the installation. Community leaders worked to raise money for the construction. Local school children donated individual blocks. Guatemalan businessmen and coffee buyers contributed, and an anonymous philanthropist matched all donations to construction. 37 local construction workers built the hospital over three years. The design included natural light and ventilation, water saving, water fixtures, and seven solar water heaters were installed on the roof. 
In memory of Walter Outerman and with the help of Ian Woofenden, Outback Power donated eight power inverters and accessories for the new hospital. 72 2 volt Trojan batteries were purchased. Solar Energy International instructor Jason Lerner arrived to assist Henry with the complicated installation of the battery and inverter system. Now the hospital, patients, and the expensive medical equipment were protected from damage caused by drops in electrical current and power outages. With the batteries and inverters installed, Ian contacted Phil Livingston of SunGrid in Perth, Australia, and requested a donation of solar panels. Phil generously donated a full container of 1,200 solar panels and shipped them to Hospitalito Atitlan in Guatemala. The challenge became raising $30,000 for the installation of the panels. Cable to reach the batteries from the roof cost nearly $15,000. Little by little, funds were raised for the installation, and to date, Henry and his crew have installed 350 panels. Hospitalito Atitlan continues its mission to serve the community. In 2012, 60 cleft lip and palates were repaired. Pediatric dentists helped 150 children. 50 emergency C-sections saved the lives of mothers and babies. And nearly 1,200 patients a month are seen. The electrical power produced by the sun allows Hospitalito Atitlan to provide affordable care and to remain the most reliable location for medical care in the area.